We begin with the UK. The former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is set to face hours of intense questioning by MPs in Parliament today. Well, the Privileges Committee is investigating whether Johnson misled Parliament over the COVID-19 lockdown parties in a scam famously called Partygate. Well, yesterday, the UK Parliamentary Committee published the Partygate evidence submitted by the former Prime Minister himself, Boris Johnson. Well, in the so-called 52-page defence dossier now released, Johnson has said that he takes full responsibility for everything that took place on his watch. The highlight of the documents is Johnson accepting that he misled the Parliament, but insists he had no intention to do so. He says the statements to parliamentarians were made in good faith. If the committee finds out today that the former leader did intentionally mislead the parliament, he can be suspended from the House of Commons. And any suspension more than 10 days can also prompt a by-election in his constituency. Well, the Privileges Committee to Pro-Partygate was formed in April 2022. Then Prime Minister Johnson had told lawmakers at the time that COVID rules were being followed at number 10, when in reality they were being counted. Well, Johnson had later admitted that his statements were incorrect, but added that he believed them to be true at that point in time. The Partygate scandal became the biggest reason for Johnson's downfall as he with other senior government officials, which also includes current Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, held gatherings in 10 Downing Street when the rest of the UK was forced to stay at home. Well, earlier, the UK Prime Minister now, Rishi Sunak, had said any action on Johnson will be based on lawmakers' own beliefs. Alex Isaac, our London correspondent, is joining us now live. So is there any chance that Boris Johnson can come out of this well? Well, uh, I don't think he's coming out particularly well right now. Um, so it's unlikely that he's going to make a complete 360 turnaround. The basics are that he did set the rules back during the COVID pandemic and then he broke them. Whether or not uh, he misled and did it intentionally or recklessly? Well, those obviously are the questions for the select committee, but it still doesn't look very good for him this morning. We've heard that the, those of the COVID bereaved uh, families want him to step down, but it doesn't look like he's going to. He's going to try and push through and still be as disruptive as possible as he can while he's seated member uh, of parliament. I don't think uh, Boris Johnson really is thinking about uh, the bigger picture. He just wants to look like he is clearing his name. But some of the questions questions that have been put forward since his dossier came out yesterday are uh, one specifically where Dominic Cummings when he has dismissed Dominic Cummings and said that there's no evidence um, Dominic Cummings actually has come out himself on his own substack and has said that there is evidence there's emails from him and Lee Kane another advisor that suggests to Boris Johnson's advisor Mr Reynolds that uh, a party shouldn't go ahead of 200 people because of the conditions with Covid and people trying to keep apart now, that seems to be another tit for tat. Boris Johnson seems to really be playing the it's everybody else's fault, blaming the advisors, uh, blaming those who didn't tell him that it was wrong. But realistically, he is not coming out. He isn't looking good now and he's not going to be coming out any much better, even if he has a robust defence later today. Mm -hmm. And looking back and looking forward here, what's been the biggest impact of the probe against Johnson, do you think? Of course, uh, this whole mess really started because of the parties that he he held um, and his advisors held, and therefore he was asked to be removed as prime minister. So that's one of the uh, the big, obviously, the big things that's happened since Partygate kicked off, which then has led to uh, Liz Truss and the economic situation where the UK potentially lost 50 billion pounds and inflation rising, which again you, you mentioned in your headlines there, it has gone up again today unprecedentedly, and then Rishi as well he is going to be facing a lot of questions about his part in Partygate because he is mentioned in that 52 page document
dossier. So, you know, going forward, it's going to be a real struggle for both Rishi Sunak and the Conservative Party to try and get through this and to try and gain trust back if Boris Johnson does get their suspension, which you know, is one of the possibilities. He also could get a sanction, he could get a fine, and he could just be asked to apologise. But if he does get that suspension and therefore MPs have to vote to whether or not there is a by-election for his seat, that again will tear the Conservatives apart even further than they already are. I'm sorry, it's a tad windy here again, as it always seems to be in the UK. Um, so it doesn't look like there is uh, really that much hope for Boris Johnson's political future right now. All right, Alex Isaac, thank you so much indeed. Battling the elements here in the UK for us as always.